Hey guys, it's Andy from Estella's Revenge, and I haven't done a Friday Reads in a really long time, and so I thought I would pop in today and do that. I'm in a little bit different location than I normally am. I don't usually film at night because I really prefer natural light, uh, and my dog is looking at me from the top of my bed. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I decided to come in my bedroom. These are my TBR shelves behind me. It's kind of embarrassing that the largest block of shelves in my house are completely unread or almost completely unread. Um, but anyway, here I am, a little bit of change of scenery and I wanted to talk to you all about what I'm gonna be reading this weekend. Um, since I finished The Woman in White, which I really enjoyed, don't get me wrong, my reading has picked up a little bit. Um, I finished Labor Day by Joyce Maynard in two days. It was a really quick read. Um, I also finished Chew, Volume 1, Taster's Choice, which is a graphic novel, this morning. I very quickly dove into Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. I purchased it on, uh, Amazon for the Kindle app when it was on sale recently, and I haven't read but just a few pages. I was really disappointed. My nook decided it would be a great time to need to be charged um, right when I started reading Saga. But I mean, it has pulled me in immediately. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading that. And I also started Boy Snow Bird by Helen Oyeyemi. And this sounds amazing, and so far the writing is really good. I'm about three chapters into it, and... I'm totally fascinated. This is about, it's set in the 1950s, first of all. It's about a girl named Boy, who's from an abusive family, and so she runs away from New York City to a very small town in New England, and she has to kind of find her place there, and she ends up marrying a widower and becoming stepmother to the man's daughter. Her name is Snow, and it says that, you know, Boy never sees herself as the wicked stepmother, but we begin to see some Snow White elements um, of the wicked stepmother start to emerge. And eventually she has her own daughter. Her name is Bird, and she is dark-skinned. And as it turns out, the family she has married into are light-skinned African-Americans passing for white. And so that issue is kind of introduced into the story. None of those are spoilers. That's all in the blurb on the back. And I'm just really fascinated by the idea of this book. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes and how the issues of race are examined in this book. So some really promising stuff for the weekend. I hope that you all have had a great week and that you're going to be picking up some great week weekend reads too. I can't talk. Um, so that's about all for me. I'm going to film some reviews and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.